Hello, I'm Susan Caddo. Thank you for being with us. The Pawnee earthquake turns out to be the strongest one ever recorded in Oklahoma. At a magnitude of 5.8 and lasting nearly a full minute, the earthquake left damage across a wide swath of the state. Scientists are still hedging on the cause of the quake, but they warn Oklahoma is primed for an even stronger tumbler in the future. An increasing number of seismometers are now being placed across Pawnee County by the United States Geological Survey and Cornell University to gather data about a fault that little was known about until it produced the quake that shook the state and several others for nearly a minute on September 3rd. A year ago, Daniel McNamara, a research geophysicist at the U.S. Geological Survey, took part in a scientific study that warned of a quake in Oklahoma larger than the 5.7 Tembler that struck near Prague in 2011. The fault that is under such scrutiny now has McNamara concerned something even bigger could well be in the state's future. It's connected to a known fault system that, that continues on for quite a while, tens of kilometers that could potentially host a, a larger earthquake. The 5.8 Tembler came at a time when injection of water from oil and natural gas operations is at a markedly reduced rate. It happened on a fault that's in an orientation that we didn't really expect could produce such a large earthquake. When we see a 5.8, we near a very large fault, we get concerned that it could rupture into a larger magnitude. The Oklahoma Corporation Commission was quick to respond, issuing an order under its new authority forcing injection well operators across more than 500 square miles to begin shutting down their disposal wells. 37 wells are impacted. Another 17 in an additional 211 square mile area of Osage County are also shutting down. That is under orders from the EPA. A map of injector wells in Oklahoma shows more than 4,000 of them, except for the big blank spot where Osage County is located. All oil and gas drilling and disposal in that county is under the jurisdiction of the Environmental Protection Agency. Kim Hatfield is president of Crawley Petroleum Corporation. He's also head of the Induced Seismicity Work Group for the Oklahoma Independent Petroleum Association. Hatfield says the move to shut down so many injector wells over such a large area shows that more science is needed. They've gone 10 miles out from a fault line and there's nothing in the research that I'm aware of that indicates that wells that far away would have, uh, have an impact. We have many more unanswered questions than we do uh, answered questions on, on this. The Pawnee Nation complex consists mostly of stone buildings, many of them dating back more than a hundred years. The nation's president, Bruce Pratt, says every one of those old buildings suffered damage. They maintained their integrity, uh, but it was the, the inner walls, uh, the, the inner uh, guts of uh, all of the buildings, you know, they're the ones that's really sustained damage. As we talked, insurance adjusters were going over each building room by room assessing the damage. Some walls have pulled away, the ceilings have uh, collapsed in, in some areas. Uh, just uh, a lot of cracks, a lot of uh, uh, separation. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of work to be done. And while the nation has earthquake insurance, for many tribal citizens, it's a different story. I know that we have tribal members right now who have sustained damage who, who don't have insurance, don't have the insurance. And, and so we're making a lot of phone calls where, where um, the process is unknown to us and even unknown to, I, I believe, some of our federal agencies. President Pratt says the nation will do all it can to help its citizens recover from this earthquake. But taking steps to end the shaking, Pratt wants more. On Pawnee Nation lands, hydraulic fracturing has already been banned. We've been proactive in, in trying to um, Say, hey, you know, just stop. Wait, wait a minute. Let's 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 figure out the science. Let's let's figure out what's what's happening and things because these earthquakes are getting worse and worse. And here we are. Scientists will be studying the Pawnee quake data for some time to come to determine what caused it. The immediate suspect is wastewater injection wells from oil and gas operations. Several of them very close to the epicenter of the quake. It appears to behave. You know, similarly enough, we're, we're working with uh, Osage County and EPA to get wastewater injection data and the OCC is collecting data within their jurisdictions. 
The order from the Corporation Commission and the EPA shutting down 54 injection wells means at least 60,000 barrels of wastewater a day will no longer be injected under Oklahoma. Kim Hatfield says injecting produced water underground is the only option the state's oil and gas industry has to get rid of the wastewater they generate. We're always looking at options and uh, the, the short story is that none of them are economically viable. Pawnee Nation President Bruce Pratt hopes that government, the industry, and all involved keep looking for alternatives. And as the, the guy said, you know, six and above earthquake is coming. Uh, I, I, I hope not.